Hello everyone, here in this video I am going to show you that how you can display selected color images in your Shopify store. So here on my product page you can see that how we can display only selected color images and all the other colors should be hided. So this video is specific for trade theme. If you have any other theme then you should uh, go to the playlist which I have already created and if you still don't find then you can directly message me. I will help you out in creating uh, this specific feature for your theme. So right now on my screen you can see that the current situation is something like uh, all the other color images are also displaying so here you can see that for example I have all these colors all these colors are displaying but uh, right now I don't see the sw uh, swatches so let me enable that first so you should go back and click on customize and here you can see that I have the home page so let me go to the product page then after you can see here we have to click on add block and here we will be having variant picker so you can scroll a little bit up above the description and then click on save so now let me refresh this back and here you can see that we have black color if I'm clicking on ice blue so the ice blue image is displaying and if I'm selecting white white color is displaying but all the other colors are also displaying so I am interested to hide the all the other colors but only wanted to display the specific color which I have selected here so let me show you how you can do it into your store so you should go back to the dashboard and here you can see that I have installed trade theme you should create a backup of this first click on these three dots and duplicate this theme so that later on if you have any problem or something so you can install that uh, uh, original version Make sure you should subscribe this channel because I already uh, upload a lot of uh, useful content on this channel. So you will be getting uh, notified about the latest videos. So now the first step is that you should go to uh, products and I am taking the example of this product. So you should click on this product and let me show you I have already given a documentation. So you should follow that documentation. So the first step is that update all text of images in the gallery for each product. So for now I am doing it for this product but for all the other products you should do the similar step. So what exactly you are going to do here is that uh, make sure that all these images are uploaded here and they, those will be reflecting here in the gallery. So click on the product image and here you need to add the alt text. So in this input box you need to put the color name. So where exactly we are getting the color name? This is the color and you should copy from here and paste it in the alt text so for now for example this image is ice blue so copy this color name click on this image paste that color name click on save and all these images you should paste the same color which you have matched with this image now we have the black color so you should go back and copy the black color from here and click on the black image and paste it right here and finally we have the white color so you should copy white color from here and then click on the image for all these images you need to put that exact same color so make sure that there should not be any mistake related to spelling or maybe the capital case and small case so you should avoid this and for all the uh, other products also you need to do same steps so now we are done with this and now the next thing is go to the dashboard again and here we need to click on these three dots and click on edit code all right and then we have to follow the steps so now the second step is go to snippets and open product dash man dash gallery dot liquid so you should copy the name and search it right here and then click on uh, product dash media dash gallery dot liquid and inside of it we are uh, going to add an attribute which is data dash man dash color equals to double quotes so uh, where exactly we are going to paste is first ul tag inside the first ul tag so you should search here the first ul tag which is uh, in the beginning and inside of this opening tag we are going to paste this attribute all right then after we have the second thing which is parent ul man so you need to copy this class name 
and in the opening tag of ul you need to paste it so in this ul tag we have a class which is all these classes are mentioned here so in the beginning you need to paste that class name which i have just copied all right then after we have the next step which is paste below code inside the first li opening tag so you should copy these four lines of code and uh, paste it inside of this li tag which is this one so in the opening tag of this you need to paste that li uh, paste these four lines inside of this opening tag so actually this is the uh, angular bracket opening and here it is closing just above it we have to paste and then after we have another three lines of code so these also you need to paste inside a first li opening tag which is under loop of the media so basically you need to scroll a little bit down and you can see that we have a loop of media and inside of it we have an li tag and you need to paste same way those four lines uh, here it you can see this is opening from here and closing at this line just above it we need to paste those four lines the next step is and the third step which is you need to uh, find the last ul tag so basically we have two ul tags in this file so the first ul tag is this one and the second ul tag is at the bottom so you can see only two ul tags are there so in the second ul tag we are going to paste that uh, next step which is uh, you need to add an attribute which is data dash color equals to double quotes so you should copy and paste it right here then after the next step is uh, you need to copy this class name and paste inside of this class you can see here we have parent ul which i have added in this class okay then after the next step is you need to copy these four lines of code and paste inside of first li opening tag so basically you need to scroll a little bit down and you can see that this is the li tag and inside of it we are going to paste these four lines and then finally we have another four lines of code which we are going to paste under uh, the li tag but inside of loop of media so you need to scroll a little bit down and here you can see that we have this loop and inside of this loop we have an li tag and inside of this li tag we are going to paste those four lines okay and then click on save once the changes are saved then we have the final step which is you need to replace this media dash gallery dot js so you should copy this complete file code and then you need to search here gallery and here you can see that media dash gallery dot js open this file and remove this complete code and paste uh, the code which i have just copied and then click on save once the changes are saved then you can actually click on preview store and here we have to click on shop all and open this product and here we go now you can see that here we have the black color already selected and only black color images are displaying if we are selecting ice blue only ice blue images are displaying similarly if we are clicking on white so only white color images are displaying so that's how you can actually do the thing into your Shopify store and uh, only display those relevant images which we are interested to display. So if you have any problem or something, you can directly contact me. I will help you out in solving these things. If you have any other theme, then still you can contact me. I will help you in solving that problem. If you have any new feature to develop for your Shopify store, so you can directly contact me. I have already given the uh, contact details below in the description. So I will help you out in solving all those problems which you have related to Shopify. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please subscribe this channel. Also like this video and uh, you can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. You can also join a WhatsApp group which I have recently created. So I keep publishing a lot of content on this channel. Thank you once again. See you in the next video.